Skinner, John Skinner, John B. Johnny B, Banks, Mary Malibu, Bob, but I just like to say, what up, dog? <laughs> Turning 50, brother, uh, it's hard to believe. Um, I have known you since I was somewhere in Stonewall Jackson uh, a long time ago. The first time I ever saw you, we were doing a gig with Hidden Secrets um, down at Lincoln Junior High. And I was out talking to some of our fans uh, and came back to the stage, which was just our part of the basketball arena. <laughs> uh, and half of our shit was gone and walking out the door. And I was like, what, what's, what's going on? I go, hey, who the hell is that guy with my shit? And I was like, oh man, that's Skinner. Don't worry about him, he's great. Yeah, but there goes all my shit out the door. And they're like, oh, it's great, it's great. And I go outside and here's this wiry little dude I'd never seen before, uh, probably weighs 125 pounds and had masterfully humped most of our stuff outside and helped put it uh, in all these cars. And uh, one thing John was uh, always known for was putting uh, three tons of shit into a half ton truck. Um, and I, I just don't even know what to say. There's so many great stories uh, about John. Um, I don't even know where to start. Uh, if it wasn't for you, uh, I would never have had a chance to, uh, change careers in my early thirties and get into it. Uh, you helped me get a job, uh, at Vanderbilt part-time, um, for $10 an hour. And, uh, I busted my butt, butt and turned that into a full-time job and, uh, um, things have been very good since, and all that's because of you. Um, man, we have, uh, we have broken more shit, we have fixed more shit, we have humped more gear, um, played more music, drank more beer than I care to even think about. Uh, and all those times were made better, um, uh, being with you. I love you, brother. Happy birthday. Hey, John, happy birthday. You're one of the most kind people I've had the pleasure to know, and I hope your birthday is just absolutely amazing. We miss you. Happy birthday, John. Happy 50th, and thanks for everything you do for us, man. You're an awesome person. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Skin. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. You mean so much to me. I love you a whole lot. Um, I have incredible memories with you. Uh, thousands. Um, all of my hardest laughs in my life have been in your presence. I've probably cried buckets of tears laughing with you. Um, so many great uh, times and inside jokes. Um, and uh, it, it never gets old. Uh, anytime I'm down, I can think of, of you and always feel better. Uh, the good news is I never feel down. Um, you have more integrity and compassion than anyone I know, and I love you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye. All right, are we rolling? Looks like we're rolling. Happy birthday, John Skinner. What can I say about the almighty, legendary John Skinner? Well, in October of 2008, I moved to Nashville for the first time, taking a job at IO Studio. I didn't know anybody in Nashville. It was uh, pretty uh, intimidating moving to Nashville by myself and not knowing anybody to accept a new job. And I remember first day on the job, I'm sitting around looking at all these new people and here comes this guy, you know, it's always, he's always got a smile on his face, you know. And here he comes around to my desk and he leans his hand over to shake mine over my desk. And he goes, he goes, hey, I'm John Skinner. And what's your name? I'm Vincent Whaley. That right there, that one handshake man, was the beginning of a brotherhood uh, that will last uh, the rest of our lives. And uh, John and I have played music together. We've recorded music together. We've... We've been uh, best friends for, you know, well, over 12 years now. And 
he and, and Ava and Beth are all family to us. And we love them dearly. And uh, what else can I say? John Skinner, you're just one hell of a man. Hell of a musician, hell of a father, hell of a husband, and hell of a best friend. And I love you, brother. And I thank you for everything and for always being there for me. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, man. And uh, blow it out. And after COVID's over, we're going to get together and have our own celebration. So... Rock on, my brother. I love you very much, and happy birthday. Hey, you know what I just realized? You're my favorite brother. And all the time, besides the time you put my eye out with a piece of glass, you're a pretty damn good brother. Oh, wait a minute. The glass was kind of my fault. <laughs> happy 50th birthday, brother. Don't know why... Jesus had to go and have a birthday a couple days before you and put yours in the dark, but I guess you've learned to live with it after 50 years. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Number 50. Woohoo! Hey, John. Love, love you. Love you. John, happy 50th birthday. <laughs> Trying to think of one thing in particular that sticks out. There have been so many over the years. <laughs> Ewok Village. Scouting trips. Getting kicked out of ski resorts with Troop 5. Remember Timberline. Lenoxkin Trail. Boy Scouts. Ladley Tower. We won't talk about that, though. <laughs> what do you say, Walter? Say happy birthday. Okay. Anyway, Adam's at work, but he wishes uh, you a happy birthday as well. Um, all my love, man. Um, can't believe we are this old. <laughs> uh, mine won't be for a little bit, but uh, <laughs> but it's a coming. Um <laughs> so many years, man. Um, happy birthday. Um, hope you love your bass. You deserve it. Um, love to Beth. Uh, yes, and to Ava and Walter. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Joe. Hey, John. Wanted to wish you a happy 50th birthday. Sorry I couldn't be there. But since I couldn't be there, I thought I'd go to a place that means uh, something to both of us. Um... So let's see here. I am uh, at the spot where you used to wrap your newspapers. And let's see, there's the hill to go up to your parents' old house. But anyways, I just thought this would be a really cool place to, uh, you know, discuss how we met and, um, and just think about all the things that have happened since uh, it's been almost nearly 40 years since I rode my bike past you here um, and hold on there's a car coming so anyways I rode my bike up and you were sitting here rolling your papers and I guess that's nearly 40 years ago so we've been friends almost 40 years close enough for rock and roll uh, and if it wasn't for that day then I wouldn't be sending you this video and uh, we wouldn't have done all the wonderful things that we've done together, like starting our first band and uh, playing in the school band and uh, the VIPs and rehearsing in your mom and dad's basement, then moving to California. Uh, and then uh, it's, it was so nice last year to catch up with you and get to spend some time with you while I was down in Nashville. And, and that meant the world to me. I uh, love you and your family. And I just want to wish you a wonderful wonderful happy 50th birthday happy birthday buddy later hey john coming to you from the kitchen here at the manor just wanted to say happy birthday it's a big one we've known each other for a very long time and man i couldn't be happier or more proud to be your friend so i hope you have a great birthday uh quick shout out back in the day one of my funniest memories was driving around the west side 
in that pickup truck with an entire bed full of stereo equipment and a generator. And the funniest thing you said was, hang on guys, I'll be back in a few minutes. And I'm like, where are you going, John? You're like, I gotta go put gas in my stereo. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hi, John Skinner. Happy birthday. And I don't know, there's just like a million things that I could say about you and to you. Honestly, having your friendship has been something that I've never had before. A friend like you that literally is the nicest guy in the world <laughs> and is always someone you can rely on and just know is going to do what he says and he says what he does. And so just love so many things about you and that our families are so close and all the memories that we have vacationing and hanging out, playing cards and just so many great things. And we just love you. We love spending time with you. And we love that we are all in each other's lives. And I know Mike wants to talk. <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> it's my cigar smoking vacation buddy. What's going on, man? Hey, 50 years young. It's hard to believe, isn't it? But, man, you're, uh, you are you don't show your age. And like Candy said, you are the nicest guy in the world, that's for sure. But thank you for being such a great friend, making me laugh, and love watching Star, Star Wars with you and, and talking about music and all that fun stuff. It's been a great time getting to know you and looking forward to the next 50 years. Yay. We love you, John. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, John. I hope you have a really good day, and I'm so upset that we can't see you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, John. I wish that I could be there to give you a big, gigantic hug. You are an amazing friend. You are a phenomenal husband. Um, you're one of the best fathers that I have ever seen. All of those qualities roll in to make you John, and we are also um, blessed to have you in our lives. You have been a part of my life for longer than you haven't been a part of my life. We've been together for through our Melrose phase, um, and now we're a, we're grown ups and um, and we're still friends. And I am so lucky to have you and Beth as part of my life. I know that if I ever need anything that um, you would be someone that I could count on um, and you just have a heart of gold. If there is anyone that deserves to have a phenomenal birthday, um, it is you and I will spare you from singing to you, but just know that I love you and I hope that your day is an, as amazing as you are and happy birthday. Oh, wait a second. I gotta get my hair just right there. Yeah. Okay. John, <laughs> happy birthday, son. And I just want you to remember that real friends will always drive the extra mile with you. Happy birthday in 2020. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday John. John. We love you and we miss you, buddy. COVID sucks. John, from the first moment I met you, I knew what a nice person you were. And ever since then, you've treated me so kind and just been so generous with me. You've been a great provider for the family. I've always been able to trust you. Um, your parents would be so proud of the man that you are and the father that you are to Ava. She can look at you and see the kind of man that she deserves to have in her life. And I look at you and I see the person I want to be. <laughs> You're just an amazing person and you were very loving and sentimental and kind and you always do nice things for me you help me move heavy stuff you carry my purse when we go shopping you make me snacks uh, you fix anything that needs to be fixed pretty much you can fix anything your dad would love that about you um I mean you've just been a great father to Ava I mean you've been there through everything that she's wanted to try as far as dancing and singing and videography and you've just always been right there with her and you've always showed her how much you love her and we just thank the world of you we love you with all of our hearts happy 50th birthday happy birthday <laughs> thanks for um you know being there for me and sharing music with me and letting me share music with you and driving me to <laughs> driving me to all the practices that I had to do and dance and all of that and also thanks for just being a really great dad and now I know yeah like you said now I know 
you're like a role model for what, you know, I want in my life, so, yeah. Happy 50th birthday. We love you. We love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.